Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and if you've ever been to the hospital, especially the emergency room, you'll notice one of the first things they do is clip a little thing onto your finger that tells how much oxygen you have in your blood. Higher number tends to be better, lower number not so much. If you've ever wanted to find out how your oxygen percentage is doing while you're at home, now there's a way with this as seen on TV fingertip oxygen monitor. Epic Review Guys. For just over $30, you can find out how your oxygen levels are doing right at home. I'll put a link to this down below this video. I found it over at Fry's in the As Seen on TV section. It takes a couple AAA batteries and it is pretty much as simple as just clipping it onto your finger just like they do when you go into the doctor's office and give it a few seconds and it will give you a reading not only of your blood oxygen saturation but also your pulse. Just because when you go into the emergency room they will check your blood oxygen level and now you've got one of these at home, this does not mean you don't need to go to the emergency room if you're having symptoms. They have several places on here mentioning this is only to be used in conjunction with the doctor telling you how to interpret the numbers. Don't use this um, instead of going to see a doctor or going to a hospital. But it does have other uses other than just medical symptoms. Um, you can use it if you are a mountain climber to find out how your blood oxygen saturation is when you get up to a higher elevation. There's not as much oxygen, not as much air. It does change how much you have in your blood and that may be important to know. Also doing sports, you can find out how efficiently your body is moving oxygen around. So we have the instruction page. It comes with a carrying case, so as I said, this is useful outside of your home as well. And so here is the device with a strap in case you want to wear it around your neck. Here's the instruction sheet. Again, it's very simple to use, but if you're having issues, you may need troubleshooting. And up here in the corner, it does tell you this is not for medical diagnostic or treatment use. The carrying case and the lanyard. The carrying case is nice. Again, if you're going to carry it with you, it can fit right onto your belt. So if you're out hiking, doing sports outdoors, you can uh, have the meter with you all the time. And here's the oxygen meter the screen where you'll get your numbers. You pinch it like a clothespin. If anyone remembers what clothespins are, and that's where you will fit your finger. And it holds onto it pretty snugly. And on the bottom, you take this out to put the batteries in. Interestingly, um, you can get inaccurate readings if you have nail polish on or fake fingernails. So that's something I didn't realize. Also, this is accurate to um, within about 2%. It, it measures your oxygen saturation between 70% and 100. If it's below 70%, it isn't gonna give you a reading. And between 80 and 100%, it's 2% accurate. I think the pulse is also within 2%. The screen briefly lit up when I put the batteries in. I'm gonna put the back cover on. Nice thing with this is it shuts off automatically. Once you've pulled your finger out after eight seconds of there being no finger, it will just shut itself off. And the power button to turn it on is right here. Let me zoom in and let's take our first measurement. Okay, I will do the close pin, get my finger all the way in there, and then the power button is here to get the first reading. See how long that takes. Looks like 98%, 97%. That's still pretty good, anywhere above 95% and you're probably pretty healthy. And what's my pulse? 62, that sounds about right. Now I don't have an emergency room grade oxygen meter to compare it to, but I'll try it on the finger on my other hand, which you would think would be the same, blood, same blood saturation, same blood going all through me. So it should be around 97. There we go, 97. Oh, even better, 99. Okay, 97 and a pulse of and a pulse of 62. So pretty good accuracy, right hand, left hand, same numbers. In addition to the fingertip oxygen meter, there are a number of other devices that you can check your own numbers at home, including your blood pressure monitor. I'm gonna do this right now just to compare the pulse rate and see if it is about 62. And also a single lead EKG machine to check your heart. Now I've reviewed both of these separately. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second once I see what my pulse is. Blood pressure, 113 over 73 with a pulse of 63. This one, 62. Pretty good. Now, I researched blood pressure machines pretty thoroughly before deciding on this Omron model. I think, though, this is several years old now. There's a newer model, um, but I'll link to my review of this one down below this video. 
And then this is really cool. I know they have these now that you can connect to your phone. It's a special, these little uh, silver pads, which is sort of like what they hook up onto your chest to check your heart. Um, they have a skin for an iPhone that has them on it. So you just have to hold the phone in your hand and you can get your um, EKG readout. It's not as accurate as when they go and hook up a whole bunch of them onto your chest, but still it gives a general idea of what your heart is doing. And if you have your heart occasionally do odd things, which was an issue I had for a while, this was very helpful because you, it, uh, it even has a pocket clip. You can just clip it on your pocket, keep it with you. When you feel something weird going on, you turn it on and within a few seconds, you're recording your EKG, which it will save. You can um, print that out onto your printer, bring it in and show it to your doctor and say, here's what I was telling you. Um, they also have a service with uh, doctors with this company that will review it electronically. So you upload it, you have to connect this to your computer, upload it, and they will review it and get back to you and let you know whether they see anything abnormal or worrisome. I'll put a link to my review of the Heart Check Pen down below this video also in the description box. And I'll give the As Seen on TV fingertip oxygen meter a thumbs up because it was very accurate across both hands and the pulse rate matched just about exactly with my blood pressure monitor. This is an interesting and useful gadget. If you'd like to see our future gadget reviews, you can keep checking back for those or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, a gift of a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.